Hello there. This is Robin Norgren, and I am your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. We are in a series called Love Poems from God, where I am inviting you to join in on listening and meditating on the poetry given by 12 sacred voices from the East and the West. Uh, we started with the Rabia of the Sufi tradition. We explored Meister Eckert, St. Francis of Assisi, Rumi, and now we're in the poetry offered by St. Thomas Aquinas. And this, I believe, is our last um, segment for his work, and then we'll be moving on to a new uh, voice. His first poem is called, Otherwise the Darkness. I have a cause. We need those, don't we? Otherwise the darkness and the cold gets in and everyone starts to ache. My soul has a purpose. It is to love. If I do not fulfill my heart's vocation, I suffer. The next one is called All Things Desire. All things desire to be like God. An infinite space is a mirror that tries to reflect his body, but it can't. All that infinite existence can show us of him is only an atom of God's being. God stood behind himself one night and cast a brilliant shadow from which creation came. And even this shadow is such a flame that moths consume themselves in it every second with their sacred passion to possess beautiful forms. Existence mirrors God the best it can, though how arrogant for any image in that mirror, for any human being to think they know his will. For his will has never been spoken. His voice would ignite the earth's wings and all upon it. We invent truths about God to protect ourselves from the wolf's cries we hear and make. All things desire to be like God. All things desire to love. You cannot be what God is not. All are having a relationship with God. A pear taken from a limb and set in a bowl. Surely it is talking to its Lord and happy that it is being honored for its life. And somehow knowing that soon it will be returning to him. We use words like returning. Think about that. Inherent in that word is separation. And separation from God is never really possible. What can you be that he is not? You cannot be what I am not, my Lord once said to me. God's nature. Sometimes sometimes we think that we are saying that what we are saying about God is true when in fact it is not. It would seem of value to differentiate between what is God's nature and what is false about love. I have come to learn that the truth never harms or frightens. I've come to learn that God's compassion and light can never be limited. Thus, any God who could condemn is not a God at all, but some disturbing image of a mind of a child we'd best ignore until we can cure the dark. This last one is called The Christ Said. The Christ said to us, I have cut you from a garden I tend 
and set you in a vase for the world to see. Soon you will return for your glorious presence I miss. My hands need to touch you again. My divine senses and eyes require your soul's beauty near. Forgive me, my love, for the suffering our separation brought. If I said I am in debt to you, could you understand? Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and like and share and subscribe in whatever podcast venue that you use. And especially watch for those who you think would really benefit from this type of series in this time.